this in a 911. That may sound dubious to a few purists, but we can put their minds at ease. The motor is at the back. Well, one of them at least. Drive technology. The combustion engine on the rear axle is supported by two electric motors located on the front axle. When the driver brakes, they work as generators. Their energy is used by a third electric motor, which operates as flywheel energy accumulator at speeds of up to 40,000 RPM. So the energy is stored kinetically and can be retrieved by the reverse principle and fed into the electric motors, which drive the front axle. Result? Every braking maneuver generates additional energy, with advantages, especially when accelerating out of corners or on passing maneuvers. We call it boosting. And it boosts our driver's mood, too. The effect, if you brake, you gain energy. The two electric motors on the 911 GT3 R hybrid generate 60 kilowatts, 81 horsepower each. The water-cooled 4.0 liter six-cylinder boxer engine delivers 353 kilowatts, 480 horsepower at 7,250 RPM. The result is huge potential on the racetrack. The principle is clear. Then comes the reality. We test, prepare for the race, clock up the kilometers, make progress and have setbacks, which turn into progress. Vital factor? The hybrid drive can also be used in a fuel-saving way to stay on the track longer, depending on race strategy. And this in a race that lasts for 24 hours and where seconds can turn into minutes. To be quite honest, we've rarely been under greater pressure. But we've come a long way. And no, we don't have to win right off the bat. We just want to get moving forwards. In the Cayenne S hybrid, the intelligent interplay of forces has a name of its own, parallel full hybrid, for more efficiency on the road. What does this mean? In parallel full hybrid, an electric motor with 34 kilowatts, 47 horsepower, supports the 3.0 liter V6 supercharged engine with 245 kilowatts, 333 horsepower. So the power plant of the Cayenne S hybrid comes close to the performance specs of a V8 with only 8.2 liter consumption per 100 kilometers. The combined power of both units, 279 kilowatts, 380 horsepower. Maximum torque, 580 newton meters. An acceleration from zero to 100 kilometers per hour, 6.5 seconds. In the Cayenne S, the electric motor of the parallel full hybrid is integrated directly into the transmission with several advantages for both the driver and the environment. At moderate acceleration speeds, the electric motor powers the car autonomously up to a speed of 60 kilometers per hour for solely electric driving through a residential area, for example. A further energy saving? Coasting during driving. That is, unpowered gliding without the combustion engine in operation. So the hybrid also shows its strengths outside city traffic at speeds of up to 156 kilometers per hour. Additionally, the electric motor can be used to supply more thrust as support. The Cayenne can also boost for more sporting acceleration. 
Still another parallel to the 911 GT3R hybrid? Via the generator mode, the electric motor can regain braking energy. In other words, recuperate. In the Cayenne S hybrid, this recharges the battery. Summing up, the new Cayenne S hybrid achieves nearly the acceleration specs of an eight cylinder, but with significantly lower fuel consumption. Result, high agility, high efficiency, and a surprising amount of driving fun for a hybrid. Interim balance, new intelligent drive concepts. For more performance and less consumption on the racetrack and on the road. They symbolize our readiness to start all over again, despite or perhaps because of countless race victories. After all, we're working on the future of the sports car for the next spark of inspiration. Porsche Intelligent Performance.